Hi guys, this is Ayat Ishad and you are watching Ahia Property TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now today we are in a video series, um, still in the video series, especially for property agents. We're talking about property agents here. And um, this one is going to be about the three questions that you're going to ask your property agents. Now this is going to be fun. And uh, I'm going to start with the first one. So the first one that I normally ask a property agent is this. Which area do you specialize in? And I'm going to be so honest with you guys. I only want to deal with the experts in that location. So I'll give you an example. If I asked a property agent today, Hi, Mr. Property Agent. I'm Mr. Property Investor. Um, I've got to ask you a very important question. Which areas do you specialize in? And if the answer to that question was, um, oh, hello, Mr. Property Investor. I specialize in the entire KL market. Um, anything you need in any location, I will be able to help you with this, with it. And that's not going to be a good answer, right? Because no one can, I mean, it's humanly impossible to be an expert in the entire greater KL market, which is really, really huge, right? But, you know, if this property agent says, hello, Mr. Property Investor, um, I actually only specialize in this area called Aradamansara. But, um, you know what, if you are looking for anything around that area or anywhere else in uh, Greater KL or in fact Penang or Johor, I work with a, a huge network of property investors and I can definitely assist you with that. So, you know, that, that's going to send a very, very good signal to me as a property investor. I know he specializes in one area, but he, is, he has a massive network that, you know, if I worked with him, I could, I could tap into this network of his. Now, it's really this. In a, in a competitive world that we live in right now, today, it is so important to be really good at one thing. You become an expert at something, at least one thing, rather than be mediocre in a lot of things, rather than being just okay in a lot of things. I'll give you an example, a very simple example. If you're looking for a particular dish that you, you want to eat, you want to eat, let's say, nasi lemak. Okay, let's say you want to eat uh, fish head curry. Are you just gonna go uh, to to the to the nearest shop and you know what and just settle for an okay fish head curry? I mean, you're gonna go specifically to a particular place in town that sells or that's famous for the best fish head curry or whatever you're looking for. And this is really the same case in in anything that you do in business in general. You're gonna only want to work with the best in that field. And um, for property agents, it's got to be that. That's going to be the first question that I ask. Um, and, you know, if I call up and he has a listing in Aradamansara, and if I call him up and I, say, and I ask, ask him which area do you specialize in, and he doesn't specialize in Aradamansara, it's going to be really weird, right? Um, there are some people who just, you know, they, they're thinking like casting a net, a net, and hope, hopefully I'm going to catch some fish. But, um, you know, in, in today's competitive world, you've got to think like throwing a fishing line with just one hook. And you're going to hook more fish uh, than if you had thrown a net and just hope to catch it, a couple of fish. So that's just a, a personal opinion of mine. I only want to work with the best agent in that location. I want to be, I want to work with the taiko of that location if... If you're a property agent, um, this is good advice. Specialize in a particular um, location. You could specialize in a particular product. But, uh, you know, I, I specialize in low-cost houses, medium-cost houses, or, or very, very high-end uh, houses and stuff like that, or shop lots. So you could... Uh, the, the, the message I want to send is, I want to work with specialists. So if you're a specialist in shop lots, I want to work with you. If you're a specialist in a particular area, 
I would want to work with you as well. So, yep, that's a very good question that you as a property investor could ask a property agent and hope that helps. Yeah, so we're going to look into the couple of other um, important questions that you should ask your property agent. And yep, stay tuned for the next video. See you guys and bye-bye.